right, let's get started with factoring by grouping. And um, let's go through the steps. Step one is you group the first two items together and the last two terms include the third sign in the second group. Okay, let me just go through this. First, factoring by grouping works when you have four items like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what we will do is you will, here is group one and group two includes the sign. So that's step one. Next, we need to find a greatest common factor for each of these groupings. And so for the first one, it will be AX. So when I um, take AX out, I am left with X plus 1. Because whenever you factor out um, AX from AX, you're left with 1. Now what we do is we... Um, let's include the sign, and for the next one, we'll factor out B, and we are left with X plus 1, because when you factor out the B, you're left with X, and you're left with 1, because the B is removed. So now what we do is we find the two common binomials, and here is one, and here's the other. So what we do is we put these out front, the common binomials out front, and then you, in the next grouping, is what you have left, and that is AX, and the sign goes with the B, okay? So that's how you would factor out by grouping the first one. Now let's work on another example. Okay, let's go ahead and work this one. The first thing we're going to do is do groupings, okay, and remember, the sign goes with the third item. Next, we are going to find the greatest common factor and remove it. In this grouping, it is 4x squared because we have 4x, we have a cube and a square, and 4 goes into 8, and x squared goes into x cubed and x squared. So what we are left with is x minus 2 because the 4x squared goes into 8 2 times and then the x squared cancel out. Now we go ahead and go with the uh, let's find the greatest common factor in this one and it is 5 okay so we go with a x minus 2 Okay, so now we have found the greatest common factor and we have removed it. So now the common binomial is x minus 2. So we're going to place that right out in front. So we have x minus 2. And what do we have left over? We have 4x squared plus 5. And notice how the sign follows the 5 here.